Hey guys, it's ISO here, and in this quick video, I'm going to show you how to fish for code wands. Since it's zero energy fishing, I made this video kind of late, it's on me, but there's one day left, so you can still get to it. So, let's get right into it. First thing you're going to need is you're going to need two spells. You're going to need a frost lore spell, it doesn't matter what rank it is, but it would be nice if it was rank two. I'll put it up on the screen, and you're going to need summon fish. The third optional spell that, you know, would really help this whole process is buoy chests. And the only way to get buoy chests is finishing the quest line. Or actually, there is a pack gear that gives you the spell on the hat, and it's from a winter pack that drops the Cobbler Elf um, set. And if you have the hat for the Cobbler Elf that you open packs from the pack, the winter packs, the Christmas packs, you might have the hat that gives you the buoy chests, and you don't have to do the quest line. But important things to note, guys. You need uh you need rank six to get the summon fish spell, and it doesn't take that long to get rank six. You know, if you're doing the quest line, you'll get it eventually. Basically, you get a thousand or a thousand plus XP for like every time you catch a unique fish. So, you know, if you don't want to do the quest line, just go around catching unique fish in Wizard City, you know, Crocotopia, whatever world. There's so many out there. So keep catching them. You'll get rank six, get your summon fish, get your frost lure, you know. Uh, and the next thing you're going to do is you're going to come to the elephant graveyard in Zafaria. This is where you'll be doing most of your fishing. Not most of it. Actually, you're going to do all of it here and you're going to get your code wands. And another another thing to know is fishing luck gear. So there are, there's pieces of gear that give you fishing luck. And keep in mind, this doesn't help you get more chests. This All this does is help you catch the fish that you're trying to catch. So it is a good addition. It will help. You know, so you don't randomly get RNG by Wizard 101. But, you know, getting this will help a little bit of it. And the easiest way to get a free one is get arena tickets and buy it from the NPC there. His name is Jordo Mistborn. And, you know, it'll help if you have any gear. Or if you have the, the fishing luck uh, elixirs from, you know, events and stuff. Maybe like codes or something. Use those. Another thing to note, do not use your fishing benefit elixir. Because this does not increase your fishing luck. All this does is it activates the member benefit. That's the zero energy member benefit. And it's already zero energy member benefit right now. So, you know, there's no point in using it. But, you know, if, it, if there is no member benefit and you just want to farm code ones, pop one of these elixirs and go crazy. So to recap, you're going to need two spells, which are important. The frost lore and the summon fish. Uh, you get frost lore from Lucky Hook Line. You get the summon fish from the NPC in Grizzleheim. Uh, Frode or something like that and you get buoy chests for finishing the, uh, the fishing quest line or the cobbler elf hat so once you have everything you know whatever year whatever you're gonna come here and what you're gonna do is you're gonna find your lore and you're just gonna go to town on the sentinel fish there's one right there you're gonna chuck it out and these things will bite instantly and you want to hit spacebar instantly so as soon as they get on it instantly you know as soon as you see the thing go from cancel spell to invoke spell do it or if you want to play off sound cue as soon as the thing bites and i'm not talking about the sound cue with the normal fish where it's like doo -doo 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 -doo. <laughs> i hear like when you know when it goes underwater that's not what i'm talking about i'm talking about as soon as it bites it goes it, you know that noise it makes it goes <laughs> okay i don't know what i'm saying anymore but you know what i mean like as soon as it touches the lore and the thing goes from cancel spell to invoke spell hit spacebar asap this is the good thing about sentinel fish it's really easy you just have to throw it in the general area. You don't even have to aim it. How nice is that? You don't have to aim it. I hate fishing for that. And this has made my life so much easier. This is the best way to do it. You can watch something while doing it. It doesn't require your attention. So you're just going to keep doing this. And as for drops, I fished for, I believe, two to three hours, somewhere in that range. And I got two Umbra Blades. I think this wand is so ugly, but, you know, some people like it. I've gotten two Umbra Blades. I've fished, I think... Uh, I'd have to check real quick. Um, where is it? Paku man. I have fished this fish 429 times and I've gotten how many wands? I've gotten one, two, uh, three. And I also have the fog staff. Uh, it's on my other character. So four plus a couple of, I got the, the wood wand as well, which is like ugly. So I've gotten six from 400 fish. It's not bad, and I've gotten 80 chests. But you know, if you want to increase the process, increase the you know speed of the process, 
get buoy chests, finish the quest line. It takes a couple of, it doesn't even take a couple hours to be honest. It takes like, I don't know, an hour or two. If you really put your mind to it, maybe three hours. I don't know, but it doesn't take that long in my opinion. And I think it speeds up the whole process really nicely. But yeah, guys, get those spells, come here, do this while it's zero energy fishing. It will get boring, so have something open on the side. But yeah, guys, that's a, just a quick little video. You know, let me know if you want to see anything else. I'll see you guys next time. Like and subscribe.